And welcome back, everybody, to Sierra Saturday Round 2 with Leisure Suit Larry 2. So, we know that the KGB are looking for us, which is not good. Um, there's this naked woman there. Uh, okay. Ah, yes. Ah, they'll never miss just one flower. True. You hope. So yes, we are, um, we are lost in the jungle, apparently. How did we get up there? Makes no sense, you know? All right, so after a bunch of going, you know, of, of, ooh, shark, shark. Man with a shark hat. Okay. This is really weird. At last you find an exit. But where does it lead? You found a lovely restaurant. I was wondering if I could get a bite to eat. The maitre d' diverts his gaze. Your name, please? Larry, Larry Laffer. Well, I suppose I could try and find you a place on our busy schedule. Just have a seat. Fine. I will have a seat and wait then. Oh, look, Mr. and Mrs. Rich, what a pleasant, what a pleasure to see you. Of course, we have a table for you. Please, walk this way. Well, that was certainly rude. You were here before them. You feel yourself becoming perturbed. Yes, but they're rich and they're well known, so... Let's see here, Mr. and Mrs. Famous. What a pleasure to see you again. I'm becoming annoyed. I hope you find this is about da da. Okay. So, Mr. and Mrs. Rich, Mr. and Mrs. Famous. Who are you, Mr. and Mrs. Gates? Now I'm becoming indignant. That's worse than annoyed. Is it about... Really? Mr. Leech, what a... <laughs> Mr. Leech and some woman. Now I'm incensed. And have an itchy nose. Mr. and Mrs. Williams, ah, Robert and Ken, I bet. Now I'm enraged. There's no tables left, but he's telling me that I have if I walk that way, I'd use talcum powder. Ha, 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 ha. Okay, so yes, they bring out a little table for me. To our appetizer bar. And, oh yes, I almost forgot. Bite my shiny metal ass. Well, alrighty then. So I can, um... So... Well, yes, he did. Uh, okay, so I take the I, I, I take the knife from the potato from the the buffet. Well, isn't that nice? Okay, um, there's not much else I can do here, so okay, it's already as fast as it'll go, which isn't that terribly fast, to be honest with you, but. I will probably wind up cutting out a lot of this. Alright, so we are in a hotel room. H Hi. Good morning, sir. I'm your customer service representative in charge of 
Horizontal services consist horizontal service consistency and custodial maintenance. I trust you f are finding everything satisfactory. Uh, sure. Is there any way that I can help you? So I got the soap. Towels? Okay. And she's gonna go on. I have a feeling she was another one of those, um, wait, look at table. Ah, matches. Matches are always good. What, are they over here? Yes, they are. Okay. What? Uh, where? Okay, so I don't have the whole bikini yet. I only have half the bikini. Barber shop. All right, so we are now in a barber shop. So let's see what the what this guy can do about about my hair. For you, for a you today, I got a special deal. I'm a gonna try some uh, my hoxa oxydol. Basically, he just put laundry detergent in my hair. Wow, okay, I now have a full head of hair. Why did he call me Blondie? Yeah. Oh. Well, now I'm Fabio. Fabio. Oh, great. What am I supposed to do? Have a for fun. Okay, so... All right, yep. I don't think there's anything else that I need from there. So now I have beautiful flowing blonde hair. All right, I am getting faster at this, good. So now, yes, there's the bikini bottoms. Oh, there we go, okay. All right, so now I have the bikini bottoms. Now I just need to go back to the hotel room to change and I should be good to get to the airport, I think. I hope. Now I do need the bikini and I do need to stuff my bikini top. Because only in Maza, Russia is are the women so flat. Wear bikini. Ooh, but he's very flat-chested, so put soap in bikini top. Have you no modesty? You sure you want to do this? Yes, because now I have big girly bazoongas. And I think I should be good to go to pass, pass the guy, um past the, the beach and to the airport now. Run there, and I should be back to the barbershop. One more round, and I should be back to the beach, and I think I should be A-OK -okay at this point. I'm still mad about earlier today when I tried to record and it just like oh hey by the way uh yeah you've already used up your two trips to the uh to to your um to your room so haha -ha. yeah it's your screw so now we have saved i have him what how did you know it was me oh i have to oh really Okay, so I have to, to... Whoa. Oh, oh, duh, I have to, I, I remember now, I have to, I think I have to go to the barber shop as a woman Uh, in order to get, and, and then he'll wax my body. So I need to wax my body in order to, to fool them. Because, hey, women shouldn't have body hair, you know? Oh, 
I'm surprised that I don't have to tell him to talk. D, no, sit. Just for you, I some. No, it's still work real good. What are you going to do to me this time? Body waxing! He's looking like a man. Wow, that's a lot of wax. There, all I said. But now, just lay there and let it get hard. How could I be so stupid? I have wax hardening all over my naked body. Wait, you're naked under there? <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, that's, that's, that's not the sign of good waxing. So, okay, now I'm hairless. Um, which is good, I guess. And we are going to save again. And, all right. Whoa! Hello, baby! Oh, honey, I think I love you. What happened to his accent? So, all right, so I made it. I fooled the agents. Oh, uh, what? How will a guy as clumsy as you are ever manage? That's a good question. I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. I really hate this. And this was another feature that they had in a lot of their games. Was this, this, like, tricky trail that you had to, to traverse. Whoa, okay. Um... Yes, thank you. <sighs> I hate this this aspect of some of their older games. Because it was. It was. There were so many of them. Uh, first Sierra game that I remember playing as a kid, Sierra Adventure game at least, was um, King's Quest Three. Now, anybody who's played King's Quest Three, and I will get to that eventually, probably, but that one was a pain because it it literally. Okay, okay guys, 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 stop. Larry, stop flipping out. But yeah, it was. It was like, oh well, here's this long ass you know, windy, windy, th windy path to get to uh, down from this, from the house and back up. And oh, by the way, you can't, um, you can't use magic to get to, to bypass that. No, you have to go through it like two or three times. Pause a moment to catch your breath before crossing the airport parking lot to the terminal building. Your escape from the wonderful tropical resort. Yay? That was what I wanted to do. Um. Okay, you slip back into your leisure suit, toss off the bikini and soap far over the cliff. Too bad, as you were beginning to enjoy wearing women's clothing. At least you still have that long, beautiful long blonde hair. Well rested, you stride boldly across the parking lot to the front door of the main terminal building. By the way, you don't think that you were going to keep all those free points, did you? Boy, uh, are you happy? Yada, yada, yada. Okay, so we'll get into the actual airport here and then we'll call it a day. Give flower. Because if you notice, they're Harry Krishnas. Hey, my little flower child, you tell the KGB schnuz, make love, not money. 
So I can already see, Larry knows that they're KGB agents and not actually Harry Krishna's. They're just kind of like, uh, what? This so confuses the KGB Shnas. B Shna agents, okay. So yes, huzzah. We have managed to get into the airport. And that is all the time we have for today. As always, thank you so much for watching. And stay tuned for more from Olav Productions. Cheerio! I I would never five years of therapy. Get out of my room. Jeez, what a grump. Get, Get it? Cause she's fat. The jokes just write themselves, and if they don't, steal them from five-year-olds back in the 80s. <laughs>